Hey guys. So I've actually built dozens of small guitar amplifiers using the now 40 year old LM386 chip. I've put them into several different enclosures, but I usually use just a standard full range speaker as the driver. So I was kind of thinking about that and I thought, what if I use a subwoofer? Okay, so here it is, pretty much all done up. I had to flip the inputs. Uh, you will have noticed that I actually messed those up. I put the ground to the positive input and the, the uh, vice versa. <laughs> um, now, this is very, very noisy, and I'm thinking it's because this power supply cap probably shouldn't be right on top of the chip. I don't think that's very good. It's usually good to keep your components close to your chip, but I don't know about the power supply. And also... This is just a very bare bones circuit, so it's missing a couple of components. One would be, there's usually a capacitor and a resistor in between the uh, output going to the speaker, which is what this is. And uh, there's usually something, I think, decoupling the input, which was uh, the revision in the little gem, uh, the second kind of version of this guitar amp. Uh, this is just basically a little smoky um, circuit. It's very noisy, like I said. I had it on, this is a realistic Minima 7 that I just noticed is missing the badge. I'm going to have to find that. But uh, I had it hooked up to that. I was getting a lot of noise. Well, not super bad, but um, I was actually messing around and I found this old Samsung subwoofer. Now this is 3 ohms, so it's a little under the rating. This is only rated down to 4. But um, it was giving like a really cool deep tone and... Uh, Kind of wanted to show you guys that. Oh, <laughs> it's very out of tune. You can at least tune it.
Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> All right, but as you can hear, I have the guitar here. Uh, it is hooked up. That is obviously the cable for it. We're going to go ahead. Oh, I heard something. Now I have the volume all the way down. So it was making noise. That should be about halfway up. Oh, ha, the tuner's on. Okay. <laughs> Tuner was on. That actually sounds pretty cool on there. <laughs> requests all oh, this jack the jack is messed up I stole that jack from another project because I didn't have any yeah son of a biscuit Interesting. So what I just did there was I just cut, uh, ba basically I just cut this 
10 microfarad gain capacitor out of the circuit. So that knocked it down from 200 gain down to 20 gain. And, uh, a lot less overdriven let's try to hook up the realistic I'm sorry, this is the Optimus. See how it has... It has that very, very high frequency coming out. I think that's because I don't have the decoupling coming in. So that's one of the risks you run with uh, running only this amount of components. See, and that's probably murdering that tweeter because I should probably mention it's never good to run a guitar circuit through a crossover tweeter or excuse me, crossover crossover speaker that has a tweeter in it. Uh, the super high frequencies will mess that up. I've heard that. I feel like that would be true. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for sticking around. Man, this really makes me kind of happy because I think this sounded really cool, and it gives me an idea to actually build a very good uh, circuit out of this LM386 and actually stuff it into a subwoofer like this. Let me know down in the comments if that'd be something you'd be interested in seeing. But again, if you have any questions or comments on how to build this circuit, hit me up down in the comments or check out my playlist. I have a couple of videos on how to make these. But uh, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, consider subscribing if you can, and uh, maybe leaving a like. It helps us out a lot. But uh, for now, Doris has helped me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.